Hey YouTubers, it's your buddy Platt. And today I'm gonna show you how to make eggnog easy. So let's go. Well, the holidays are in full bloom and of course that means holiday parties. You all know I love to party. So I thought this week I would take on a uh, holiday classic and make some eggnog. And if you all know me, the way I love uh, homebrewing kits and stuff, I like to do stuff easy. So this could be a quick, simple eggnog recipe that I think you'll really enjoy and I think would be a hit at any of your holiday parties. So let's get started and let's see what we need to make our eggnog. Here's what we need to make our eggnog. First, you're going to want to have six large eggs. Um, you could cheat and use the pre-pasteurized egg mix, but uh, I'm, I'm going old school and actually using real eggs. Uh, next, you're going to need one quart of half and half. Then after that, we're going to use uh, vanilla extract. You might see some recipes that use vanilla beans, but like I said, for uh, ease of use, we will go with the vanilla extract. Then you'll want to have sugar. Regular cane sugar is just fine. And then we're going to go with rum. Uh, several recipes out there talk about using brandy, bourbon, what have you. I have nothing against bourbon and brandy. But I'm kind of a traditionalist on this. And if you knew anything about colonial America, um, we were a rum drinking country for a long, long time. So uh, the traditional eggnog generally is rum. I'm going to use a nice dark rum. This Gosling Black Seal rum is excellent. Then I'm going to throw in a little uh, curveball here. I'm going to throw in a little cinnamon in, into my uh, eggnog. Not every recipe includes it, but I'm going to throw it in just because I think, again, it's a seasonal type flavor. And last but not least is nutmeg. Now, I'm going to use nutmeg as a garnish. Some recipes will have you throw it in when making the nog. I'm just going to use it as a garnish. And if you have real eggnog in a, in a, in a grater or whatever, uh, you know, grating some fresh eggnog, just really tops off a drink, but the powder eggnog will do. Well, now that we've got our ingredients together, let's make some eggnog. So, all right, I'm finishing up cracking our uh, six eggs into a uh, mixing bowl. We're using both uh, yolk and white. Um, one thing I want to point out with the eggs on this recipe is we are, uh, because we're making an alcoholic recipe, we are not going to cook the egg mixture. We're going to let the alcohol take care of the salmonella. If we decide to do a non-alcoholic version, let's say you want to do a version for the kids or whatever, please cook the eggs. Uh, there's salmonella in eggs. can be very dangerous to cause illness. So if you're not going to add alcohol to your recipe, please cook the eggs. I, that's why I kind of made the suggestion of the pasteurized eggs um, also instead of doing it like this. But... Like I said, because we're adding alcohol in it, that will kill the salmonella. So I've got six eggs cracked in our mixing bowl, and we're just going to whisk them together until we get them nice and frothy and totally blended in. So I'm going to continue to whisk this for a minute, and we'll come back after we got everything whisked. We're going to come back and then add the rest of our ingredients. All right, we've got our eggs all whisked nice together, frothy. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add one third of a teaspoon of a vanilla extract. All right. Then we're going to add a third or three quarters of a cup of uh, sugar. Once we get those two in, we're going to want to mix everything together. <clears throat> make sure there's no lumps or clumps in your sugar. And once you get that all incorporated in, we're going to add a full one quart container of our half and half. And we're just going to kind of whisk that in while we're And again, just make sure there's no lumps or clumps from the sugar. Seems like we got everything 
whisked in. And I'm going to just add a couple of dashes of powdered uh, ground cinnamon. Just in there. Like I said, just, just a little flavor enhancement. Um, you can definitely play around with other uh, spices or what have you. Um, make it your own, own recipe if you want to throw in you know, a clove or something like that. But, uh, and like I said, there are recipes out there where you also throw in the nutmeg at this point, but like I said, I'm going to use the nutmeg as a garnish. So I got that whisked in, and now the uh, the main ingredient, uh, the man of the hour, say, uh, our uh, dark rum. We're going to put that in there. And we're just going to whisk that up real quick. Oh, that smells nice. Um, I really like the smell of that dark rum with a little bit of the cinnamon in there. Um, you can, if you want, um, change it up. Maybe go with the spice rum, a Captain Morgan, Sailor Jerry, whatever your spice rum of choice is. And that way you kind of incorporate some of that cinnamon, uh, orange peel, nutmeg, what have you in it that way. Uh, like I said, I, I just want to go kind of traditional, go with a nice dark rum. So let me fish during this up, then I'm going to, then I'm going to end up, uh, putting it into a, uh, pitcher and, uh, we'll come back, taste her and wrap up. So what I ended up doing with our egg nuggets, I actually, I put it in one of these little, uh, tea dispensers, pitchers, uh, jars, what have you found an easier way to dispense. You can always do the classic uh, punch bowl and ladle or whatever. I find that might get a little messy. So let's give our eggnog a try. Let's see. And like I said, we're going to just go with the uh, powdered little dash of our powdered nutmeg. Oh, that's nice. That is very, uh, yeah, the smell of that fresh nutmeg. That is nice. That is definitely a holiday hit right there. A um, couple options, you know, we discussed about if you want to tweak this recipe, do something different. Um, the obvious one is, like I said, maybe going from a dark rum to spice rum. Obviously, you can go with bourbon or brandy, too, if you'd like. Uh, don't be afraid to throw additional spices in there. I threw a little cinnamon, but, you know, uh, whatever, uh, tickles your fancy. Uh, the, the bird there agrees. Um, you know, play around maybe uh, instead of um, a white table sugar, maybe a brown sugar, maybe an agave nectar. Change up the uh, sweetener a little bit. But play around with it. Definitely will be a hit at your holiday party. Again, the bird agrees with me. Um, as always, if you like this video, please uh, feel free to subscribe. Also share it with your friends. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, you can always leave it in the comment section or contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.